APC wants as Assembly receive letter to dissolve Kano Emirate and restate Sanusi as Emir. A group, Yan Dangwalan Jiha Kano, the Kano electorate, has written to the Kano State House of Assembly seeking the review of the law establishing four additional emirates in Gaia, Ranu, Karai, and Bichi by the immediate past administration of former Abdullahi Ganduji, former Governor Abdullahi Ganduji. The group also called for reinstatement of the former Emir of Kano, Alahaji Muhammad of Sanusi II. The call by the group comes on the heels of repeated statements by former Governor Rabi Kwankwasu that the ruling new Nigerian People's Party in Kano might revisit Gandhi's action on the Kano Emirate. But speaking with newsmen on Wednesday, the All Progressive Congress warned against any move to disrupt the current Emirate arrangement as created by Gandhi, saying it might upset the peace of the Asian city. The opposition party advised NMPP Governor Abba Yusuf to be careful so as not to allow himself to be pushed into doing something which could affect the existing peaceful coexistence in the state. On Wednesday, Yandangulan Jeha Kano made available to the punch a copy of its letter dated February 5, 2024, which it addressed to the Speaker of the Kano State House of Assembly. And the letter also copied to the Kano State Governor, Kano State Deputy Governor, and the Secretary to the State Government. The group said, the dissolution of the Emirates and the dilution of the Emirates and the Emir of Kano will foster unity, peace and stability within Kano State and its neighboring communities. The right to plead and also draw the attention of the honorable members to the law that governs the additional areas in Kano State. Specifically, we would like to request a review and potential dissolution of the additional areas and sections that led to the creation of the four additional emirates. It is our firm belief that consolidating the emirate into a single entity will lead to greater unity and progress for the people of Kano. These consolidation may serve to streamline governance and promote a more cohesive community for the betterment of all citizens. We acknowledge the rightful authority of the Kano State House of Assembly in the issue of emirate management. However, we humbly request your extreme assembly to revisit, reconsider the decision to remove His Royal Highness Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi from his throne. Our belief is based on the belief that his reinstatement will foster unity, peace, and stability within Kano State and its neighboring communities. The group, while describing Sanusi as a highly respected and influential figure who has been demonstrated his commitment to the well being of the people of Kano State throughout his tenure as Emir, said it would be in the overall interest of Kano to restore him to the throne. During his time in office, he worked tirelessly to promote social and economic development, education, health care, and improved living standards for the citizens of Kano State. Removing His Royal Highness Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi from his throne has caused division and unrest among the people of Kano State, creating unnecessary tension within the community. We humbly urge the esteemed members of the Assembly to consider this matter in the interest of the progress and unity of Kano State. Your, youthful considera your thoughtful consideration of this issue will undoubtedly have a lasting impact on the future of our community. We hope our plea will be honorably considered as an important matter and look forward to the positive outcome that can arise from this crucial review, the group said. However, the Publicity Secretary of the APC in Kano State, Alhaji Ahmad Arua, described the calls or demands of the group as a fairy tale. He said, and I quote, The APC considered the gimmick as a fairy tale. How can a group of politicians protest to tell the government to dissolve the emirate? The administration of former Governor Abdullah Higandoye had achieved a lot, including the creation of the new emirate. The APC as a party is not bad at because the state government under the former governor Gandhi has done what it was supposed to do by creating the emirate and people have seen their importance. Traditional institutions are supposed to be respected and the group did not complain or protest when the emirates were created. Arawa said if the NMPP government wanted to dissolve the new emirate, it should come out clean rather than sponsoring some mercenaries in the name of group seeking the dissolution of the new emirate. What Kano needs now is peace. 
not something that can cause trouble for the state and its resident, Arua said. However, when contracted, the Kano State Chairman of the NNPP, Alhaji Heshemu Dugrawa, said, Everyone is entitled to his opinion, so the group is entitled to its opinion as well. The immediate past governor of the state, Gandhi, had in 2019 signed a law splitting the Akanu Emirates into five through the creation of four, through the creation of four new ones. He subsequently dethroned Sanusi, who was the 14th Emir of Kanu, in March 2020 and banished him to Nasarawa State. A statement by then Security to the state's government, Alhaji Usman Alhaji said Sanusi was dethroned for total disrespect to lawful obstructions from the Office of the State Governor and other lawful authorities, including his persistent refusal to attend official meetings and programs organized by the government without any lawful justification, which amounted to total insubordination. Is the government now in charge of traditional seats of traditional rules? Are they? I don't know. The people of Kano State now didn't get more to talk. Now they go talk what they want at this point in time. Maybe even us. I did tell you. The Emirates should be allowed to exist and Kano should pray for its progress, not for progressing. We Allah help them. Okay. Well. APC should know that they are more of the deceivers because whoever must have deceived them to remove Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi from power as Emmy of Kano shouldn't be too unwise to kick against Sanusi Lamidu's intelligence idea to reinstate him. Okay. The so called Yandangwale should leave Kano State people alone. People are dying of hunger today at tomorrow. Maybe only this one in the dog to do that. As far as I'm concerned, Gandhiji has made a very great mistake. However, I urge for the traditional leaders entirely to stay away from politics if they really need peace and respect. Exactly. They should allow the allow traditional people to be traditional people. You that is political, remain in your politics. Don't come and join the two together and cause a problem. Wow. Chief Laba now take the traditional vendor by removing them, selling them anyhow. So left for the tech pool, politicians to start accusing instead of heritage that has gathered momentum. I don't understand you. Why is it that when Gandhi or Gandhi did his own rubbish, he did not cry of disturbing Kano peace? Now talk with this. I beg, I beg, I beg, Kano, Sai Sanusi, Sai Ya, Sai Ka, Ya Isha Allah. Let's, let's watch. Fortunately, we just hope that whatever is done is done with um, the people of the good people of Kano state. And it's also going to, you know, Make things better for them. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy.